In this session, we'll study more problems about the Markov source to find the entropy H of S and the second extension of entropy H of S squared. Okay. So given the Markov source model, the probability of the state is given P of 1, 3 by 7, P of 2 is 4 by 7 is given to us. We have to find what is H of S, which is the entropy. What is H of S square, which is second extension? They are also called as G1 and G2. So to find this G1 and G2, first we will draw the tree diagram. Initially, we will draw the tree diagram when the source is initially in state 1. Okay. So when it is in state 1, it remains in state 1 by emitting symbol x with probability 2 by 3. Next, it jumps to state 2, state 2 and the probability that it is emitting a symbol z with probability 1 by 3. And the prob probability of the state 1 is 3 by 7. So, what are the symbols emitted at the end of the first symbol interval x and z. Next, again, if we want, we want G2. So, we have to write the symbol submitted till the second symbol interval, end of second symbol interval. Again, from state 1, it remains in state 1. And next goes to state 2 with emitting symbol X and Z with probabilities 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. Z, okay. Next, when it is in state 2, state 2 goes to state 1, goes to state 1, emitting a symbol Z. With probability 1 by 4. Next, it is in state 2. It goes to, it remains in state 2, emits a symbol y with probability 3 by 4. This completes our tree diagram. At the end of the second symbol interval, symbols emitted are x, 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 z, 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 y. Next, so now what is the prop now? This is the tree diagram when it is in state 1. Next, when it is in state 2, you may have again, it goes to, it remains in state 1. It remains in state 1. Emit symbol, it goes to state 1. When it is in 2, it goes to state 1. Emit symbol Z with probability 1 by 4. It remains in state 2 returns back to state 2 by emitting symbol y with probability 3 by 4 that is shown here. Next again 1 remains in state 1 by emitting symbol x with probability 2 by 3. 1 goes to 2 with symbol z with symbol z probability 1 by 3. So at the end of the first symbol interval symbols emitted are z and y. At the end of the second symbol interval zx, zz, yz, y. So, for any given Markov source, we can draw the tree diagram. Now, I want to find what are, what are, what are the inter symbol intervals x, y, z are emitted at the end of the first interval. What is P of x? P of x. P of x is, this is 1 by, this is 3 by 7, state 1 probability. 3 by 7 into 2 by 3. 6 by 21. Here, no x is emitted. Only here x is emitted. It is 6 by 21. 6 by 21 is nothing but 3 by 7. Next, I have to check for P of Y. Y here is 4 by 7 into 3 by 4. 12 by 12 by 28. 4 by 7 into 3 by 4. 12 by 28. And no Y is emitted here. So, it is only one time. It is 3 by 7. Next, P of Z. We see P of Z. P of Z is emitted in the first symbol interval. What is that? 3 by 7 into 1 by 3. 3 by 7 into 1 by 3. 1 by 7. Okay. Next, here we can see again Z is emitted here. What is that? 4 by 7 into 1 by 4. That is 4 by 28. That is also 1 by 7. So, 2 times Z is emitted in each of the tree diagram. That is emitted here also. That is 3 by 21, 1 by 7. 3 by 7 into 1 by 3. Here also it is emitted. 4 by 7 into 3 by 4. 
both side it is 1 by 7. So I get P of Z as 2 by 7. Next, I will first find G1, which is our H of S1, which is or H of S, which is G1. N is 1 here. 1, 2, 3. Why 1, 2, 3? Because we have three symbols at the end of the first interval, X, Y, and Z. P of X, log of 1 by P of X, P of Y, and P of Z. What is P of X? 2 by 7. I substitute here. Next, what is P of Y? 3 by 7. I substitute here. What is P of Z? 2 by 7. I substitute here. 2 by 7. I substitute here. When I calculate this, we are all to the log to the base 2 everywhere. And I get this as my answer. So, these are the probability of the symbols. These are the probability of the symbols x, y and z which are emitted at the end of the first simple interval. So that gives me probability h of s or it is also called as g1. So that can be obtained when I draw the tree diagram and I should know what are the symbols emitted at the end of the first simple interval. Next to find at the end of the second simple interval again I should extend the tree diagram that is 1 again remains in state 1 goes to state 2 with x as a symbol emitted, 2 by 3 as a probability, 1 goes to 2 with z as a symbol, 1 by 3 probability. Next again for 2 here, 2 goes to state 1 with z emitted, 1 by 4 probability, remains in state 2, y is the symbol, 3 by 4 probability. So symbols emitted at the end of the second symbol interval are x, 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 z, 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 y. And how are you finding the probabilities? It is for xx, for xx we write 3 by 7, 3 by 7 into 2 by 3, into 2 by 3. We get 4 by 21. That is what I want. Next xz, 2 by 3, by, that is 3 by 7 into 2 by 3 into 1 by 3. Okay. Next coming this side. This 3 by 7 is the probability of the state already given to us. Okay. 3 by 7 into 1 by 3 into 1 by 4. Okay. Next, ZY, 3 by 7, 1 by 3, 3 by 4. So, this is for state 1 when this is source is initially in state 1. Next, for state 2, I can write the same state diagram by extending this 1, 2. Only two states are there here. So, I get Z, I get ZX, ZZ yz y by zx is 4 by 7 into 1 by 4 zz is 4 by 7 this is here 4 by 7 into 4 by 7 into 1 by 4 here it is 4 by 7 into 1 by 4 into 2 by 3 next this is 4 by 7 1 by 4 1 by 3 next if i want y into z 4 by 7 3 by 4 into 1 by 3 if I want y by 4 by 7 into 3 by 4 into 3 by 4, I get this values. Okay, so next now I should calculate what is G2. Calculate G2. So I have all these probabilities with me, but we know xx only one time from both the tree diagrams, xz also only one time, but we see from the tree diagram that zz, here one zz, and here one set set. So I add those two probabilities. So any symbol either at the end of the first interval or at the end of the second interval, if they are emitted in both the tree diagram, same symbol is emitted, then we are going to add those probabilities and get the total probability. That is not the case in XZ, YY and YZ because they are emitted only one time. Same holds good for our end of the first symbol interval also. Next, now what I do is, now I said now n is 1 by n log of p of m into log of m of pi. 1 by n, this indicates n is equal to 2. That means we are solving to find the entropy of the source at the end of the second simple interval. If n is equal to 3, then we have to find it at the end of the third simple interval. For that, we have to extend the tree diagram again like this. 1 and 2. Again 1 and 2. Again 1 and 2. Again 1 and 2. And then write the probabilities here along with the symbols. And then again 
you will get the symbol so here again when i tell one when i tell one students in state one with probability two by three one goes to state two z one by three so if i want what are this what is the symbol emitted z x x z x x if i want to know the probability it is four by seven into this one by four into two by three into two by three that gives me this next symbol here the next symbol emitted is z z z here again it continues and at the end of the third symbol interval i can calculate h s of 3 which is nothing but g3 that is at the end of the just extending the tree diagram okay now so here i can calculate this then i get g2 is equal to here this n is 1 by 2 4 by 21 p of xx p of zz 2 by 21 but we have taken in both the tree diagrams and finding the zz symbol so i have added those two probabilities and i have taken it next zy okay next is zy next is zy so i get what is h of s2 i get g2 which is equal to 1.308 bits per message symbol this is how using the tree diagram we can find the entropy of the source for any of the states either at the end of the first symbol interval or at the end of the second symbol interval